everyone, it's Tyla. Hope you guys have had a great day today. I had a nice busy day at work today, but tonight I am excited because we are going to be digging up our sweet potatoes. This is probably one of the most favorite times that I have in the garden because it's almost like a treasure hunt because you never know what you're going to find. So I'm actually up here on my, um, close to my house on my back deck and we had quite a few sweet potato slips to plant so we actually was kind of experimenting and I had a, a giant flower pot up here and we just decided to stick a couple in here a couple of our slips in here just to see what would grow and we actually have the leaves climbing up on just a string that we tied to our pergola up here just kind of for fun and just for a little bit of decorations just to see what would happen with it as you can see it's climbed all the way to the top and I'm gonna pull these out and see if it did anything in the pot I've never planted them sweet potatoes in a pot before but this was just for fun so I just wanted to see what happened so let's take a look so I got a little tool up here but I'm gonna pull these out we might not have anything but I think I might have a little bit there might be some skinny ones in here let's see what we got might not be a whole lot up here nope Hmm. Thank goodness I planted out back. Ha! Because I didn't get nothing in here. Well, there's a few more down here. Nothing much. So, what does this tell you? It tells me don't plant sweet potatoes in a pot no more. I don't see nothing underneath here. I got nothing. All dirt. Well, I tell you what, folks, let's head up back. See what we got. Nothing up here. That will get torn down. So let's go out back and see what we got. I'm sure we'll have better luck out here. So let's go out here to the race bed. It's late September. Well, it's probably about what, 21st, I think today is, 23rd. And, uh, our sweet potato vines are starting to die down, so we know they're ready to pick. They're not growing anymore, so we're going to go ahead and harvest them and see what we got. We eat a lot of sweet potatoes in my family, and of all the things that you grow in your garden, sweet potatoes are by far going to be the best thing for you that you can grow. Full of beta carotene, you can't ask for a healthier vegetable from your garden, so if you're going to plant anything, this would be it. You can make them savory, you can make them sweet, you make them however you want. So they're a great crop to uh, plant. Let's see what we got. So I have two raised beds back here that we planted all of our sweet potato slips in. Now the way that we grew these this year, we actually had sweet potatoes left over from our garden from last year and we started them in the house. So we just got a, a large, oh, I would say five inch deep pan and we put some soil in there put our sweet potatoes in there and I won't go into too big a detail but what we did is we just kept them in there starting them in, in the late winter let them grow all through the spring and they actually sprout up through the dirt and then you've got some green slips that come off top so after that you have to break them off put them in jars of water and it goes on from there so we'll get into that later but I wanted to show you what we've got here I'm going to dig up a couple hill, hills here and I'm going to show you and um, then I'll pause this and dig the rest of them up and then we'll show you what we got in the end. So I am pretty excited here. So let's see what we got. These vines go just about everywhere. And I dug up one hill earlier the other day just to see what I had. So here's another one. You can see them because they're actually poking out of the ground here. See what we got? So here's my actual plant right here. Ugh. Let me grab my shovel. Here, these look a lot larger. Look at there. I don't want to. Oh boy, look at that one. It's huge. Find that in the grocery store in an organic sweet potato. I don't think you will. Dig in here. So, this is one hill. I've got one, two, three, four. Five, look at these. Great. Six, seven, eight. These are huge. Now what I'll do with these, I will actually, 
If I bake them in the oven, I'll cut them in half and bake them because that's too big for one person to eat. But um, they're great for leftovers and we eat a lot of sweet potatoes. Not just in the fall around the holidays, but we eat them all summer long. So that's great. Cool. All right, let's go on to one more. See him sticking out there? Woohoo! It's like a treasure hunt. It's like digging for treasure. First year I did this out in the field, didn't quite know what I was doing. I was just experimenting and I went out there and started walking around my garden, which all the vines had died, and I seen these orange things sticking out of the ground. And I thought, actually I seen one, I thought it was my um, dog's ball. And uh, bent down there, I was just out there by myself just moseying around and bent down and picked it up. It was a sweet potato that was poking out of the ground. I'm like, I kind of had forgot about them. So I started looking around and they were popped up through the ground all over the place. I dug them up. I was just having a ball out there. It was pretty exciting. Look at this. Ugh. Huge. There are no pesticides, no fertilizers, no nothing on this. Just, just sweet potato. Dirt. Now I will say, we took care of these and watered them quite a bit. Now when we watered them, at first when we watered them, again, I've told you in the past, don't water your leaves. So we would just water along the edges, but then when the vines started growing crazy and the whole thing was filled in, we basically just put the hose right in the middle of the flower, or the, the raised bed, and just let it sit there and just let it soak. So these have been soaked all through the summer um, with a, a good deep soak, and I think that's why this dirt is so loose and these potatoes have grown so large. God, look at that. I bet that weighs three pounds. Good deal. Okay, I'm gonna take a break here from you guys. I'm gonna dig the rest of these potatoes up. I've got two beds of these, so it's gonna take me a bit. So I'll be back and I'll show you what we got. See ya. Okay, we're back everyone. I'm done digging my sweet potatoes and I wanted to show you what we got. But first, before I do that, I wanted to have you take a look at my beds here. These are two raised beds that we have here and they are 12 by four. And there are there were 10 plants in each bed. So a total of 20. Um, this one here, I will say, was a little bit more out in the sun than the one behind it because this one back here is kind of shaded by the fence a little bit and a little bit by the tree. Both of them did great, and I'll show you that here in a minute. But you can see we've dug them all out. The sweet potato vines are all over the place. Now what we're gonna do with these, I'm just gonna put them right back in the beds and I'm gonna let them uh, kind of disintegrate in there and they'll eventually turn into mulch and we'll use them in our compost pile. Um, so they've done great, I'm very pleased with them. Now what can I say about sweet potatoes? That is probably one of our staples, along with green beans and regular potatoes. If there's anything, like I said, you should be planting in your garden, it is sweet potatoes. That's one of the top foods that you can eat. Um, again, full of beta carotene, all kinds of vitamins. They taste great. We use them all summer long. We probably eat them, I would say, at least three times a week. And um, we eat other we eat white potatoes as well, just probably just as much, if not more. Um, we're healthy. We are not, I'm not skinny by any means, but I'm not overweight. Um, we don't take any medication and we feel good we exercise and we try to eat right and we we contribute our um our health to what we eat and our exercise obviously but we eat very healthy i'm not to say we don't eat junk food on occasion um or things that aren't that great for you but for the most part we eat very healthy and, and try to and um sweet potatoes is a big part of that i again i use them all summer long i definitely use them in the fall in the winter time um i bake them I roast them, I cut them into cubes, I put them over rice. Um, Trey's favorite thing to eat is what he calls orange pie, and that's a sweet potato casserole. Um, he only gets that a few times through the year um, and loves it. That's probably his favorite thing. That's probably his number one memory from Thanksgiving is orange pie. That's the one thing he'll ask for, orange pie. So come this way, I'm going to show you what we got. I'm very, very, very excited. Hop up, hop up. This is my wheelbarrow full of sweet potatoes. You can see some of these are just huge. I will say these bigger ones came from the garden, the raised bed that is in the sun a little bit more. Um, the ones behind it did fine. They're just, you can see they're a little bit smaller. 
I got some skinny ones. Now with the skinny ones, I will just peel these. I'll boil them and I'll puree them and I'll use these in my casseroles and just mash them up like mashed sweet potatoes. Um, the big ones I'll just roast and we'll roast them whole and eat them. So very excited, very pleased. Um, didn't expect to get this much, but boy, I can tell you, I sure am glad that we got them. These are just huge. That's got to be a foot long. Again, nothing, nothing added to them. No, no um, miracle grow. No, nothing like that. These are just organic sweet potatoes. Good for us. I'm very excited. So, put them now. what I'm going to do with these to cure them? That's for these sweet potatoes to be ready to eat. You actually have to cure them, which just lets them get a little bit sweeter. I'm going to take them in my barn, and what I do is I just dump them out on the floor. The, the, a lot of people will say you have to have them at a cer certain temperature, they have to have airflow, they have to have all that mumbo jumbo stuff. I just pour them on my barn floor. I let them lay there probably at least seven days, maybe up to two weeks. Just let them cure, let them get a little sweeter. Once those are done, again, I don't have a special area that I put these. I put them in crates, like milk crates, when I take them into the house because they've got ventilation in them, obviously, with the crate. And I take them straight to my basement. My basement. Back, I put them in the back, kind of in the utility room where it's dark and they just stay nice and cool down there. And again, we use them all the way up until the spring. I had, they lasted that long. And in spring, I just took what I had left and I planted them inside and that way they grew my slips for this year. So, well pleased. Um, these did not cost us one penny. How about that? That's pretty good, eh? Pretty excited. So, I'm gonna sign off. I'm gonna take these into my barn, let them dry out for a little bit and I actually have some um, from last year in the house roasted in the oven, so that's going to be part of our supper. So I'll sign off now. You guys take care. Work hard. Remember, everybody can be nice. Have a good evening.